Hi everyone, I'm Heather Mahalik barnhart with the SANS Institute. At SANS, I'm a faculty fellow instructor and co-author of Forensics 585, the Advanced Smartphone Forensic Analysis In-Depth course. I wanna tell you why you need to take this course. In my opinion, it is one of the most cutting edge DFER courses in the community if you deal with mobile devices. We go beyond vendor training. So I recommend everyone take vendor training and become a master of acquisition and how to use those specific tools. But we wanna teach you how to become a master of the artifacts, how to understand how data truly exists on both iPhone and Android and what to do when the unexpected occurs. Let's start with an overview of the course. Day one, we dive into some smartphone technology, but then immediately start addressing the different file system formats that you're going to see on these devices. We are going to cover additional features like protobuf and level DB and items that the tools may not really parse well. We want you to know how to take matters in your own hands when you need to do smartphone analysis. We will teach you how to write SQL queries and challenge you to decode every single timestamp possible on these smart devices. This is all done manually on day one. There are a total of five labs that you will have in day one of the course. On day two, it's Android all day. The hard thing with Android is we have to remain current and stay up to date with the latest and greatest, but also understand that there are a lot of cold cases where old Androids come into play. I work many investigations where I am currently examining an Android 4 in one and an Android 13 in the next. It can cause mass confusion. Understanding the artifacts that you can trust and how the tools parse the information is key. We will teach you all of those items in Forensics 585. You get four labs on day two. Day three is for iPhone, iOS all day. Four additional labs covering advanced topics on how to parse the information, how to handle biome, how to handle seg B and knowledge C. What happens if you don't get a full file system extraction? How do you know what you can trust and what you can leverage in your investigations? Section four, we go into cloud data. So all the cloud data that exists, whether it be backup, whether it be meta, Instagram, you name it. If it's a takeout, we are covering what the artifacts look like, how to collect it and how to analyze it. We cover some warrant data as well. Anyone who does mobile device forensics knows that warrant data is chaotic and not easy to examine. We wanna teach you the best methodologies here. Now for the malware examiners and incident responders out there, the afternoon is for you. We cover malware on mobile devices, how to detect it, how to export it, how to manually decompile it and fully analyze it. And then finally, we end that day with evidence destruction. So you have a total of five labs in section four of the course. Section five is probably the most difficult day of the course. We take your commercial tools away from you. We don't provide you with forensic images, but instead we provide you with application artifacts that you have to manually analyze to understand what these vendors go through. Parsing smartphone data is not easy. It's constantly updated. There's also the introduction of AI in 585. We look at AI from the perspective of, can you tell if it's human or if it's AI sending you chat messages? Can you tell if it's AI being used to write code? What can you do to investigate AI? And how can you leverage AI to help you become smarter with writing scripts and queries. How can you leverage AI to help you become smarter in writing SQL queries and using Python scripts? This section encompasses four labs. Some of the labs are a little bit more complex. We do have a lab on AI and deletion. And then we also have a lab on how to take a Python script that exists, leverage your query that you leveraged in class or wrote yourself and how to make it work. We wanna help you dig below the surface. We wanna help you go beyond what your tools can provide. We are going to teach you tools like iLeap, A-Leap, Artex, Apollo, scripts that were developed specifically for smartphone forensics. You can do a lot of mobile forensics on your own. You don't have to rely on just pressing a button in a tool, but it's so important that when you do press that button that you understand what the tools are doing so that you can always defend your casework, defend yourself, and be one of the smartest examiners when it comes to mobile forensics. I love this class and as you can see, I'm really passionate about it. Lee and I have put a ton of work into maintaining this course over the last 11 years together. We hope to see you. I hope to see you in the classroom. If you take this class on demand, 
I hope to see you at an event.